I'm Brendan Ricks with TJ Free. In this tutorial series, we'll learn how to use Storyboarder for creating storyboards. If you're not familiar with Storyboarder or storyboards, it's a program that helps you gather your ideas before you begin production on a media project, specifically video. So this is going to be great if you're wondering on where to set your camera, what the angle is going to look like, setting up your scene. It works great if you already have an existing script created and then you want to kind of map out the layout of the scene and the lighting and the objects and where the characters are going to be standing. So this can work if you're creating a, a physical, you're actually filming a real uh, video with a video camera, or if you're just creating an animation, maybe you're doing a, a model in 3D or a 2D animation even. So there's a wide variety of applications for this. Storyboarder is free and open source software. It's produced by, I believe it's called wonderunit.com is the, the website and the company that produces this. And so this is a company that's produced this software and decided to open source it and share it with the world. So if you appreciate what they've done, I think there's ways you can support them on their website. Go ahead and check that out. But what we're going to be learning in this series is the basics of using Storyboarder. So we'll learn how to draw the different brushes, the different tools we have for creating two-dimensional art. We'll also learn about the 3D uh, modeling that we can do. There's a great 3D engine for creating basic models to get a really good idea of where, like I mentioned before, placing lighting, where the characters are going to be. You can even pose the characters uh, and do all kinds of different things. You can write notes. Uh, you can ha show the dialogue between different characters and what actions they're performing. And there's a lot of great export features too, uh, as well, where you can export this work, these storyboards, into other formats for collaborating with teams and also for uh, offloading that work to other programs like Krita or GIMP or OpenTunes or even like Photoshop. So you can export these uh, and be able to work on them in other programs and kind of add more detail beyond the functionality of Storyboarder. So if that sounds like an interesting thing to you, check out uh, my video where I show how to download and install it if you don't yet have it. Uh, and then go ahead and let's dive right into the tutorials and learn how to use Storyboarder.